And so the way he will achieve this agenda is through the church. God wants to do this by revealing himself. Listen. The way that the agenda of God will find expression is when his glory is revealed first in this earthen vessel and then through this earthen vessel to the entire territory of human race. So the agenda is twofold. The manifestation of it. First, to you, the battle acts. He wants you to experience his glory for yourself in your life. That your life becomes an expression of his beauty and glory. That your life becomes a validation to the fact that the kingdom is true. And that the power of God exists. And then out of that experience, you begin to dispense the grace and the glory and the anointing and the power from your personal testimony as a contribution of your quota to see his kingdom come. Are we learning something? Say after me, God desires that my life will host his presence. God desires that my life, my body, my spirit will host his power. God desires that I become an expression of the reality of God's ability here and now. God desires that I become an expression of heaven and everything it carries here and now. That's God's desire for you. God's desire is bigger than giving you a wife. Don't reduce God. God's desire is bigger than giving you a jeep. The devil can give you a jeep. God's desire is bigger than giving you crowds and giving you a church and giving you anointing. God's desire is that the fullness of himself, he wants you to become a conduit of his glory, a conduit of his wisdom. That word, dogza, the full representation of all that is obtainable in him as far as our dispensation is given and defined by. He wants it to find expression. So the limitation of the agenda of God is the limitation of the ability of the saints to be transformed and not the limitation of his might. The inability of the saints to contend for transformation has misrepresented God in the earth. This is the tragedy in the earth right now. He wants to reveal his wisdom and his glory and his power in your life first and then through your life. Please don't make that mistake to just think he just wants to reveal his glory to you. No. He wants to reveal himself in you then through you. In you then through you. In you then through you. There are two limitations that the Bible reveals to us. Two limitations that can frustrate the church from achieving this. There are two limitations that the Bible points to us. That as much as we say we love God, there are two limitations that will stop us from ultimately satisfying the desire of the Father. Number one, the first limitation is what the Bible calls the gates of hell. The gates of hell. Matthew 16 verse 18. The gates of hell. The first limitation that the Bible openly points out to us. That will be a challenge. It will be a standard that will attempt to resist this agenda. The gates of hell. He said, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my ecclesia. And the gates of hell. Not demons. Not principalities. The gates the fullness of the arsenal of hell. What is the gates of hell? It means Satan and all the arsenals and the strategies that he has. Satan and all the arsenals and strategies that he has in an attempt to fight the advancement of the kingdom. That's what is called the gates of hell. The gates of hell represents Satan and all his gimmicks comes from the Greek word stratomai. It says, do not be unaware of the devices. That word is stratomai. The strategies, the skills, the arsenals of Satan. 
There is a formula he uses for deception. There is a formula he uses for witchcraft. There is a formula he uses. Those formulas are like secret codes. They are also called mysteries. That is the principle with which he has brought nations. For instance, the Bible tells us that Satan uses the spirit of fear to put people in captivity. It says, and to deliver them through, through fear, have all their lifetime be subject to bondage. So the spiritual strategy to bring bondage is fear. And like Job, what you fear now becomes your lot. Are you getting me? So the Bible says the gates of hell will rise. You want to get a job, there is a spiritual formula to frustrate you. It is part of the arsenals of the gate of hell. You want to get married, there is a spiritual formula. Because your marriage has a route to bringing this agenda to pass. Since that there is a prophet that your womb should produce. And Satan will fight it. It's not about you coming from east or west. It's about something. When he said the seed, the seed shall bruise the head of the serpent. Satan started looking for everybody that looks like the seed. He's still searching today. Hallelujah. And he will use everything. Everything. He will use everything. Your sensory perceptions. Your financial condition, your family situation, your academic condition, every strategy. Satan is desperate, more desperate than you can ever imagine to see that the agenda of God does not come. Let me tell you, those who trivialize the reality of Satan and his plot to fight to death, the agenda of God are joking. Jesus himself said there will only be one limitation to the building of the church the gates of hell the spirit of religion came from satan activity without power came from satan because when the nation of israel in egypt wanted their exodus the moment they told moses we want to go moses told a.m um, pharaoh what did pharaoh say occupy them is because they are free start giving them activities let them have meetings upon meetings seminars upon seminars and then they get busy and it convinces them that activity is equal to spirituality. Is God speaking to us tonight? Hallelujah. The gates of hell. They will haunt you. I guarantee you. When Jesus went to fast, Satan followed him and stood somewhere watching jesus praying listening to his prayer points as he communicated with heaven for 40 days satan was nowhere else in the world roaming around he was waiting because it was a it was a a, a, a defining moment for jesus as soon as jesus was done here comes satan his strategy again if you are really the son of god turn these stones to bread and he took him up a cliff and so on and so forth and the bible says when jesus overcame him what did he do he left him for a season is it in your bible he left him forever make no mistakes that because you think you are born again and filled with the holy spirit the devil will cross his leg and say wow promise so you are going to have a great ministry in the future well done you are a new creation in christ you are joking you are joking hallelujah The gates of hell. They will rise. Brothers and sisters, let me tell you. The gates of hell will rise. You are a brother. You love God. The gates of hell will rise through different strategies. Hallelujah. Look at Samson. The gates of hell rose up. He was just moving and one demon entered a lion. And the lion came to feed. You think the lion just, he was just strolling around and he said, Lion, let's, let's try wrestling. You think that's what was happening to Samson? Because Satan was trying everywhere to find out about his strength. So he used the strongest of the beasts. And a lion came and Samson tore it into pieces. And Satan said, It's not there. Strategy change. He used the Philistines. They caught him. Right? And he, he used the jawbone of an ass. Satan said, I missed it again. Another strategy, Delilah. If I've used physical strength, let me use emotional strength. Where is that beautiful Delilah? And Delilah came. And Satan saw how vulnerable Samson was. He said, we are making progress. 
were making progress. He, he, Delilah insisted. And when she cut off his hair, the judge of Israel had been brought to his knees. Hell began to celebrate. The gates of hell prevailing. Samson's eyes were plucked off. Samson's hair was cut off. And I can imagine God saying, Come on, Samson, you gave it cheap to Delilah. You would have asked me for a wife. I would have given you a wife. And Delilah ran away. But then what they did not know is that there is still a package in God to restore. Listen. God said, Samson, I know you have blown it. Your Lord now is dead. But you would, you would die in victory. Let all the people that represent evil in that land gather in one auditorium. And the strength will be restored. And Samson said, Oh Lord, I know I've sinned against you. The, the Lord you have given me for my generation as a judge. I allowed a woman sleeping with Delilah. That's what some of you are doing as you are looking at me. And laughing as if it does not matter. You carry your death. You are insulting Esau for taking porridge. And some of us have done what is cheaper than taking porridge. When you know what is upon your shoulder, you will package yourself and warn yourself from the spirit. Samson made Israel to suffer just because the strength and the salvation of Israel was upon him as a judge. But then, you will not say he didn't fulfill his assignment because he pushed. He said, oh God, let me die with them. And while he pushed, the Bible says he killed more people in his death than he did in his lifetime. Imagine the mass burial of evil. All the evil men gathered together with their idol and he crushed them into pieces and died with them. Every man that showed up was given a piece of this assignment and they ran with it. They didn't do it part time. They spent their life doing it. When Jezebel was threatening the prophets of God, Elijah the Tishbite arose, a fiery prophet who frustrated the counsel of darkness and left. And now, probably in the 60s or the 50s or the 40s, who knows, one woman was crying in slave trade and said, Oh Lord, I may die, but let this little child of mine Exalt your name. And that person became your ancestor, became your grandfather, became your father, and now it is you. That woman's prayer who died in the slave trade, that Lord, I saw a vision that Africa must be saved. That's you sitting down, roaming around, and God is saying, do you not know you are a manifestation of prophecy? How we limit him? How we limit him? Thank you for watching this powerful video. I believe your soul, spirit, and body has been mightily blessed, revived, stirred up, geared, and set for transformation. I would like you to please stay tuned on Reflector Hub TV and get more blessed. I also like you to click on the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell so you could stay in touch and always updated with our daily posts. Remain blessed. God bless you.